up YouTube fam, it's your boy Big Guy Journey back with another video. And as you can see, I had to take the hat off today. I felt like some of y'all may thought felt like I, I I was balding up there or something, but nope, you see it? No, no, no. They say I'm getting older. I say I ain't getting older, I'm getting better. <laughs> no, that's true. Look, I may be getting older in age, but I feel like I'm getting better. And that's what it's all about. So even though I'm in my 40s and for y'all in y'all 40s or, or getting up there, look, you could be better. You know what I'm saying? You could feel better. I don't got no pain. I don't lose no sleep. I'm feeling good. <laughs> but look, today I wanted to come to you with a video. I'll make sure you like, subscribe and comment in the comment section. But look, I wanted to come in with a video. It's a video I did a couple years ago. Not not a video, but I did a podcast a couple years ago with my boy Big Bricks Fitness. And I, if you haven't heard of him, go look him up on YouTube. The gentleman is legit. I mean, and, and he focuses on fitness, but since I've been following, I've seen him him progressing in so many different ways as far as business and the way that he he delivers a lot of his philosophies and stuff like that. I've seen him grow so much. And I wanted to kind of just go into a little bit of our podcast, but there's because there's a couple things that he said back then that really stood out to me and that I had to end up dealing with that I didn't understand that I didn't think I was going to deal with. And one of those things is because he, he said that, you know, um, Tremaine uh, or, or Big Guy Journey, you are a, uh, a, a, a one of the people you, you're you're you don't think the way everybody else think. And you have a level of a level of extremism to you, which I do. And he said that he has the same uh, because my mind was so focused on the journey on the goal that nothing else mattered. So it wasn't a like how to because there's there's always a how to. You can just do a, a Google search and you can find many different ways to do a lot of different things. But because. I was so focused, it didn't matter how to, I just made the decision that I was going to do it. And that's always the first step. You make the decision and then you go do it. And so when that, he said, what do you, what do you feel for those people who um, maybe don't have that mindset? You know, maybe, maybe don't have that all in type mindset. And one of the things that I, I believe that I've always believed is you have to work on small wins, but, but. In business, I've always been told you have to have a why strong enough to make you cry, right? And I would always be kind of left there like, well, I don't really, ha I don't, nothing really makes me cry. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I, so I didn't know how to really, like, I didn't really know how to, uh, to, 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 to process that or put that, make that connect with me. But so over my journey, what I've learned is it is important to have that because what do you do, even if you're like me and you're like you're extreme and you get to a place where you accomplish the goal that you set out to, to accomplish? Because now you're 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 kind of like, okay, I'm here. Now what do I do? How do I keep this? And I've had some of these struggles back and forth. You know what I'm saying? Yo, you went up and then down a little bit. I never went back to where I was at. But just like Bricks, I've heard in one of his videos, he said that he's gained 70 pounds back many times. And, and that's the place that I found myself in. So I was never back to where I was at, but I wasn't where I wanted to be. And I'm still not back to where I want to be, you know. Um, but I'm getting there because the mindset is right. And so you had, I had to refocus on not just the extremism. You got to find something that 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 you could actually make habits and stabilize yourself and be uh, happy with that. And so I wanted to just kind of let you hear a little bit of the podcast, and I want you to go check it out because it's an awesome podcast. And my man does some some great work. Uh, in, in, in this in this field and again it, it is the get your fit together get your fit together and I believe this is something that all of us men should be doing all women as well but I, I really focus on the men because I believe that we need to get our stuff together and so look I, I'm gonna just let you listen to a quick segment real quick of uh, of it and I'm gonna leave the comment the the, the link below
But you said what? So let me let me stop you for a second. So so Tremaine, he's lost two hundred pounds. Is that is that correct? Well, actually, right now it's two hundred and eighteen pounds. Wow, man, that's bro. that's phenomenal, bro. Phenomenal, and that's that's all with no surgery or anything like that. No, no surgery, no. This this. Wow, bro. Let's give him a round of applause. Just, man. just I can't. Just, I mean, dude, seriously. I mean, you've lost you've lost more than one of me, bro. It's yeah, incredible. It's incredible. That's, and I know you hear stuff like that all the time, man. But truly. It sounds, we throw around these numbers, right? Oh, yeah, I lost 160 pounds. Oh, he lost 218 pounds. But I want the listeners to stop right now and really digest that. Like, 218 pounds he lost naturally through lifestyle change. That is amazing. I got goosebumps right now because when you stop and really think about it, man, that's mind-blowing. You, you are a superhero, bro. You really are. And uh, so, so you, you also Damn. had some some medical issues that caused you, to, you know, kind of forced you into this lifestyle change, right? Can you can we talk a little bit about that? Yeah, actually, um, the lifestyle change came before the medical uh, issue. Mm. One one thing, mm. one thing that I, I, I tell people, um, and because I, I had to come to this place for myself, and that's important because a lot of times people get into a place. Where they have to move forward. I worked with um, uh, treatment, drug treatment people, and a lot of, and, and most people who who make the change, they have to get into a place where they're so low that they that they have to make the decision that look, I got myself here. They have to take full accountability. And so what happens is is people usually get cancer, or they get this, or they get that, and then they make the decision. Where if they would have made the decision earlier, they probably could have prevented that. And so that's one of the reasons why I want it to, because something happened where I saw something in somebody else and I made the decision for myself. I didn't wait to uh, get sick uh, to do it. Oh, you know, you just said that, you know, um, I'm a superhero. You guys gave me a round of applause. And for the longest time. Um, I really didn't look at like my accomplishment as a big deal. Um, but one day I was talking to my cousin. He was like, "Oh, you lost 218 pounds. Like people don't really do that every day." And I and and, and, I, and I thought about it. I was like, "Man, that, that's true." You know. Um, but it, it it was this point in time in my life that I had to make a decision, and it was just like I was just thinking like I, I, I've had training in business world for quite some time since I was like 20 years old and I, and I learned a lot of philosophies I learned a lot of principles that I would put in place when it came to business but then when it came to the physical like I was missing the boat in that and so one day I just kind of was thinking like man like really I mean these same principles that I, I, yeah. I put in place in business why don't I put them towards uh, uh, fitness, because really these things are entertaining. But you, you, the, the same philosophies that you use for success in one area, you can put it in any area, and you will have success. And, and so, so I started walking this thing out little by little when it came to fitness. But see, the more the the more health conscious I got, because mine didn't Absolutely. start with, with just, like it started with weights and stuff, but but then it, it, it uh, more health because I because I started looking more at the health side, you know, the health. And so. That's and, and that's so so um, important, and that's why I wanted this channel. That's why I started to gear the channel more towards just health, more towards just like detoxing your body and stuff like that, more than just staying active, because I believe wholeheartedly that the, the that the principles, the principles that you see with successful people transfers and this is why they can start one business and be successful and then hop into another business and be successful going to look into their to, to, to their health and, it, and it's successful because they're using the same principles across the board <laughs> uh, big shout out to um, my guy intentional millionaire um, y'all go look him up he's just not starting a channel but he's very intentional about what it is that he's doing and if you understand the the fact that he's an intentional millionaire, you know that he's going to be very successful here 
with this platform and YouTube and bringing content as well. If you look at him in his video, it's high quality. The dude's cut up than a mug. I mean, he stand, he's standing. I mean, he he he, he practices a, a vegetarian lifestyle, and so. These principles and see this is the thing that I started to learn. I'm like I'm looking at these other people because I've always been a fan of personal development, but some of those things were 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 they weren't coming out in the other areas of my life. It wasn't A C T. I usually use this acronym: actions consistent with your thoughts. I had information constipation. All this information sitting up there that wasn't coming out was just a plug of information and that's what a lot of people have information that you're sitting on but it's not coming out we got to get it to come out that's why i wanted to make this video i was going to go a little bit further because we touch on some we i mean we touch on a gang of stuff again when i tell you a gang of stuff we really do and bricks asked me that question a little bit later but this is the one of the things that i learned because although I'm very extreme and although I could get very laser focused on anything that I put my mind to when I wanted to when I wanted to write a book, I wasn't that type of guy. I didn't I didn't I wasn't bet I wasn't a good in English class. I wasn't that dude, but I wanted to write a book and I wanted to start a publishing company. What did I do? I focused and I, I didn't let up until I got there. But my whole thing, the whole thing that I'm working on on this level of my life is what do you do when you accomplish the goal? How do you keep it? And that's what most people, that's what many people deal with. How do you keep it? And Bricks Fitness has a formula to that. I was just in one of his little, um, one of his, one of his uh, Zooms the other day, and I believe I'm going to get one of his courses because it is important that you that you set a plan and you you develop these habits for the long haul, not just not just why you feel it, not just why you why you focused on it. You got it. You got to stick with that and you got to change it. One of the things that hit me the other day is satisfied, being satisfied. I talked to my, my brother and Bricks talked about this as well. Instead of eating some potato chips because you, you, you got you're hungry or some french fries eat this full meal he had a picture up of one meal what with the fries being 480 then a full plate being 480 instead of eating the the, the dunk eat that right there because it'll make you satisfied next time then next time you go past a plate one of your favorite places or or you get somewhere you're not tempted because you're satisfied and so you got to in everything, I believe you got to get to a place of being satisfied. It's not about depriving yourself. It's about being satisfied enough that those other temptations don't ruin you and take you under. And look, I didn't want this video to be su super long. Uh, we are already at 13 minutes, but <clears throat> so I'm not going to go further. But I want you to go in in the in, in the um the uh the, the section below, uh, the description section below. And go watch this podcast. Subscribe to his podcast. Sub subscribe to Bricks Fitness channel as well. Because my man's be really bringing the heat. And that's for if you want fitness. But also if you just want a, a better mindset in, 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 in your whole life. Because all of these principles translate. When you find out that. When you figure that out. You're going to be on point. You're going to be right. All right. Look. Take care. Take charge. And God bless. This is Big Guy Journey. I'm out.